guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to the final episode of Skip to Loafer. I don't want to do this, because once I watch this, it's officially over for me. Like, I, when I came home in the midst of the rain and ish, I didn't even want to watch it then, even when it was thundering really bad and such, and I was just like, I gotta watch this before the night is over. And I'm not really ready for that because I'm not ready to say goodbye to these characters and this just everything about this show. It's just so freaking adorable. And I hate the fact that, you know, by next week, we aren't going to have this anymore. And, and I feel like that for, I would say every show for this season that is about to end either this week or next week, like it hurts truly. But then you, you move on to the next freaking season, which <laughs> woo. <laughs> <laughs> but other than that, let's go ahead and get started with the final episode in three, two, one, go. <sighs> yeah. The top. I love the top. I love how she has like a top of another top. <laughs> Baby. Hold up, not towards his mom. Oh, okay. Uh, all right. I was expecting them not to really do the opening for the last episode. I was mainly kind of thinking of, you know how, like, okay, which some shows, they do, like, a whole scene with the credits rolling, and then by, like, the final, what, three to five minutes of the episode, then they play the opening song. But, like, yeah, we're gonna wrap it up all together so freaking cute, nice, and a little cute full. Like, yes! Yes! But no, it's okay. At least I get to hear this and see this opening one last time because it's precious. And I get to see babies dance one more time and try not to cry. <laughs> I also feel like this isn't going to end the way I want it to, especially between this and yamana Ugh. And I hate to say that. And that just put a bad taste in my mouth, but we'll see. Maybe I'm wrong. But I haven't seen it. I've only seen like one thing today and it was like just a scene and that's a... It is. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> True, but so But because of what she said, yeah. Of course, come on now, she number one bitch in this show. I hate when I do that. And I hate to say that, but I get it. I understand why she's doing it, but still. Mm -mm. Of course she did. <laughs> Poor baby. She's like, I gotta get in this. <laughs> you would also think in that moment he possibly would have confessed to her, but no, it's okay. I am not mad. In a way, none of us know right away. Mm. Yeah, but you're not happy, though. That's right.
We're kind of realize this now, like during. Ooh. No, no, no. It's okay. It's okay. You still did fine. So, you know, it's different. Add something new to it. Don't worry about her. Of course, yep. Yeah. Gotta run after her because yes, that's your friend and you care for her. There you go. There you go. Speak up. There you go. Yes. Oh, good to see me. Go die in the corner. <laughs> oh my god. That's fine. We all okay with that, right? Yeah. <laughs> right? Do you want to be noticed by everybody? Oh, and here comes the waterworks! Oh. Yeah, at least you are acknowledging it. That's one thing I'll condemn you and acknowledge about you. So I'm happy about that. Right? Really, Chris? <laughs> Poor baby, you got ruined by snot. <laughs>
Oh. <laughs> uh, is it more happy tears? Okay. Yeah, because you wanted to be remembered by something or, you know, later on in life, remember. So that you wouldn't go without any new regrets. <laughs> Aww. We ended on the real good notes. Everybody did your best as you could. You all did beautiful. And it was also about having fun. No. I would be like that too. I mean, girl, she did a lot of running around today. It's too long. Oh my god. Girl. That's interesting. I was about to say, we're, we're going to like almost end the show without these two having one last moment. <laughs> no. Yeah. See, that's just, that's a boy. Not even a boy, that is a man who really wants to be with the person that he cares about the most. Of course it'd be nothing. Be like, I just want to look at you for a second and then say nothing and then walk off. Uh -huh. 
That's our golden retriever. Yeah, but in a good way. No bad ways. We never gonna forget the fact that she barfs in that first I don't want to see the credits, but I mean, of course they got to play it. Okay, so final thoughts overall on this series. Even though this was not on my watch list personally, and everybody was like, DJ, I need to watch this. And I'm like, I don't know if I had time to watch another like show. And, and see, my thing is I always will say that in 50, 50 out of 50, I really truly mean that. And then sometimes I don't. But when I do have time... I'll say, okay, that's fine. And at first, I didn't know what to expect. I didn't look at the cast of this. Like, normally with shows, I typically do. And then, like, a little bit of the premise. But I was just like, let me just go ahead and watch the first two episodes. Because at the time, yes, there were only two episodes out. And honestly, this was a really cute breath of fresh air for, you know, another romantic comedy as anime. I mean... Am I surprised that the show ended with neither one of them confessing? No, because it was kind of a little obvious that they were going to do that. And it does kind of give you... Oh, excuse me. The potential of a season two, just as, like, as much as want Yamada-kun to get a second season, because I, as someone who loves me some romance and such majority of these romance series that are more for the female perspective and targeted towards female audiences with a little bit of masculine guys masculine guys what the hell Deja? guys i'll just say it like that um who also enjoyed as well and who secretly want to see like the whole story from beginning to end like okay i can give you i can give you two examples Two examples of two shows that I, I still also hold near and dear to my heart that um, I, I feel like will never, no matter how much I, how many times I talk about these, no matter how much I am blue in the face when I talk about these or anything, I felt like they will never get um, a full completion. I mean, you know, I, there hell, there was a time when psh, years ago before Sailor Moon Crystal was even a thing and how all of us, you know, Still to this day, I have not seen season five, even though I've only seen clips. And one day I'm going to watch all of season five of Sailor Moon. But today's not that day. Um, but going into, but go, um, going back to years ago when it was just the 90s version of Sailor Moon and how everybody was immediately watching that. And if you had the, re if you had read the manga like me, whether you were in, I think I was in like third or fourth grade when I read it, um, and such. And then eventually you're rereading it over and over again. You are one of those who really wanted to see a one-to-one -one adaptation of the manga. Then our pre our heirs are praying. <laughs> I can't speak. Our answer, our prayers were answered with Sailor Moon Crystal. Thank you, Toei, which is officially ending this year. And then the same thing went through my mind with Tokyo Mew Mew New, aka for Tokyo Mew Mew. Even though I kind of dropped that like halfway through season two or like the second half and such so for the two examples i will say that unfortunately will never possibly in my opinion get a full completion or on high school host club and made summer 
those are the two that I really love so freaking much. And as like the target demographic is the female audience and stuff and the romance and everything with everything else in between. And as someone who has not read the mangas of either of those two series, but does know how it ends with the two main leads eventually getting together and such, you kind of want to see that. I think that's a that's the big thing. You want to see a whole completion of everything, not just 12 to 24 episodes. And then they're like, hey, we only have budget for this month or I mean this, this much because our company said only do from here to here or sometimes it can always be because if the mangaka is at this point the anime is only going to be up to this point we can't catch up with him slash her and I get that I'm not mad at that I would still want to see a potential season two with this because you're still leaving it out like on an open cliffhanger where it's like yes we could see season two in the next couple of years whether rather you know maybe sooner more than later I'm just saying that um but at the same time I feel like whoever animated this and I think one one of my subs made a comment on one of the other videos I did years ago I think by like four four or five years ago um or two to two to four years ago um the the help of Vox Senko son that company also anim animated this so I'm guessing um because I'm trying to think of also other different companies as well. Like, for an example, MAPPA or Trigger or anything who takes, like, multiple projects on at once. And there are some companies, I feel like, maybe with this and also maybe the Sailor Uniform show, where it's like, yes, we take on multiple products, but we just take our time with them. And that is okay. It, it really just depends on what the company wants to do as a whole how much money it's going to be getting from sales, which obviously it's going to get a lot because this got hella popular by the end of episode one or two, I'm guessing. So uh, once again, hats off to them. I really would love once again to see a fucking season two. I'm just saying pretty pleased with sugar on top. Um, I also have to say, yes, the cast. The cast is very brilliant in this show. I mean, any show that I watch, the cast is always the greatest thing about a show because you're seeing everything through their POV and you're getting to know them every single week, you know, everything that they want to do and any little details that they're going into. Now, I, what I would like to see maybe a little bit more if the show got a season two, a little bit more on Shima's past, maybe also Sumi's as well, like before, really for more of Sumi, before she came to Tokyo and such. Because with the first two episodes, you kind of get that, but then not as much. So I feel like there is something else there with her that we don't really know yet. And I feel like we need to get into that and such. Because, of course, Shima wants to dive into her past a little bit more. Um, I would say also a little bit more, like, backstories on the other characters who don't get as much screen time and such. Which would be really nice. But you have to remember at the end of the day, it is a love, quote-unquote, love story. Of these two. And so, of course, more moments between them. That's the biggest thing. But this cast, all the seiyus who came in and voiced the heck out of these characters, good. But ultimately, like, the end of the day, as I'm going to say, like, 10 out of 10 for, you know, our two main leads. Like, seriously, they both did a damn good job. Of course, the one who played Misumi, of course, I already knew she was going to do a good job because so many things I've seen her in. Of course, like I said, my favorite is Akudama Drive, so I will recommend that yet again <laughs> to people. And I think for the guy for Shima, I think this is probably now, what, my first show with him in, so it makes... I, once again, cannot speak. It makes me really excited to see what is in store for him and his journey on his career and what else he could go from there. And especially, it does make me want to look to see what he has done before this or if this is just a starting role because if it is i have to like you know claps for that too because damn like damn <laughs> seriously but i mean it was just a really cute wholesome story that i definitely will miss a lot i something tells me that maybe in two or three months from now i'm probably gonna end up rewatching it for some weird reason or listening to the opening there are a lot of songs from other animes that I have on my phone and I will literally be at work and either start crying out of nowhere. Like I will tear up for a moment because I'm like, oh, I remember when I did this. I remember when I did 
that and such or I'll just laugh or I'll just start dancing because there's always in the song there's so many memories in it and such like for an example it's the um was it no it's such it, it's it's one series that Levi's VA is in that I love so freaking much and every single time when I hear that song I end up crying thank god I didn't cry at work but when I'm at home and when I listen to the song that he's in the show that he's in, I cry so freaking much because it's such a good song and like the things that happened in that show where it's like super emotional. You're like, oh my god. But I, I think one other thing I would like to see if the show gets um a season two, Ruka and her situation and more on her backstory and such, because she gives me the feels of because of her situation. She, I'm not gonna say, mm, I'll say it, fuck it. Um, the flip flopping thing, especially how she was when she's around Shima versus when she was at with Chris. So, I feel like once again, she is one of those characters from especially what I've seen in other series where she has like a mask and such. But it kind of really with her episode on her flashback, it kind of is obvious towards where she has a mask. So, I would like to see more on that or her finally dropping it and such do i think she's going to try to move on with her relationship with shima maybe but i think it just takes time that is kind of really the thing that those two need right now is time and who knows how much it would be like if i started reading the manga today i don't want to go into chapter whatever heck this is and immediately see her because it's like hold up Y'all need time away from each other to officially figure out what the heck you want to do, what the heck you want to be as friends, and then continue from there. And one of them not kind of like, you know, stalking the other. Even though he said like, hey, I will always be here for you if you want to talk, vent, whatever. But right now, she clearly needs a little bit of time. And both of them do, in my opinion, but I'm just going to say all that. But other than that as a whole... That is my reaction view towards the entirety of Skip to Loafer. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. and make videos if you want to join the Magical Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all sometime next week. Or really, not even sometime like this was next week. Sometime later on this week for the start of some of my summer anime shows. And then officially next week for like the second full, well really the full actual week of summer anime. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!